dream of starring on Broadway is just that, a dream. But thanks to a local theater maven, a number of her students are living that dream along the Great White Way. For more than a decade, Victoria Buzzard has led the musical theater program at Baldwin Wallace College that's considered the Midwest training ground for Broadway talent. However, you don't need to travel to the Big Apple to catch these rising stars as Vicky showcases their talent not only in Berea, but throughout the greater Cleveland area. Five, six, seven, eight. Looking for my God. Looking for my God. Looking for my God. A very good friend of mine had told me before I came out to Cleveland that when I get here, I'll meet Vicki Bussard and I should trust her and should just go with what she says, which I did, and it has never served me. She has an extraordinary sense of the precise timing of a musical piece, a joke, a piece of physical business, and she imparts a level of rigor and discipline in the acting company, from the most seasoned veteran to one of her students from Baldwin Wallace. All at the same moment, everyone feels they've got to execute at the top of their form to meet her expectations. And the fact is, her taste is very, very good. Put those together and you've got a great production. She's really good at the quirky, sort of offbeat, off-Broadway shows. And uh, Kane Park in that little theater, the Alma, Five, six, she's brilliant. Seven, eight. She gets the material. She does her research. She, she has a very loose spirit with it. I think that's the one thing you could find throughout. She's just a complete professional. And she's the same way with her students. Uh, she, um, she prepares her students for auditions. She prepares her students to be professionals in New York. And, you know, the proof is in the fact that when she takes her kids to New York and they do these showcases for agents, she almost always gets her kids agents or jobs right out of the box. My brother and I would act out the last act of La Boheme in our living room and uh, musical theater was always a part of my life. So it was very natural. I thought everybody grew up that way. <laughs> the unusual thing for me was there were no women doing what I wanted to do. I always knew I wanted to direct and I always knew I wanted to direct in musical theater but there were no role models for me so I kept saying I want to direct, I want to direct and people said no you have to act because women don't direct. I just sort of stuck to it. I knew it was what I wanted to do. The BW program uh, she took over ten years ago immediately began transforming it uh, with her New York contacts and her mothering instincts, you know, to prepare these students for what ultimately would be a really tough professional environment. So um, the program creates graduates that casting directors are relieved to be able to deal with because these kids are prepared, they're professional, they are very willing to do anything, very directable. She tries to create um, as many different difficult circumstances as she can that they will face so that they will become director proof. It was a very small program when I first arrived here. I had always admired Baldwin Wallace for their conservatory, the musical training. When I would audition their students in the professional world, I was very impressed with how they had been trained as musicians. Um, and they had good dance skills and good theater skills. They just hadn't been synthesized yet. I can see the future. I can look at people, see what's lying ahead. It's just been amazing because she's really taught me how to like really not be afraid to go down deep and it's hard sometimes because you have a lot of things you might not want to share or use in a performance or a song or something and she's always been she's always said it's okay to do that and to dig down deep and like use that side of you you deserve a better life no more worry no more strife she's really taught me how to use words where are the words coming from why did the composer write them also just her her confidence and the program and, and us really helps out too. It really, because that builds your confidence. It's all about, I think, basically what I'm saying, it's all about confidence. <laughs> Come look at the freaks. Come get at the geeks. Come examine these aberrations, their malformations, grotesque physiques. Only panties for peaks. Come look at the freaks. Come look at the freaks. No hushy for weeks.
I've worked off-Broadway. I've done a couple of shows off-Broadway, including two that I did last year. But if I really wanted to pursue Broadway, I'd really need to leave academia. And I have found that I have fallen in love with, with working with this age students. And I think it would be uh, very difficult to do both unless I left the school for a semester. She came from regional theater. She understands the uniqueness of the regional voice. You know, she's got people she's worked with all over the country, but she's very loyal to this particular place or the place that she's drawing from. She understands the place she's in. And if I need to have a problem, if I'm directing something and I need a, a casting question answer, she has this Rolodex in her head about who's available and what would be, what would be interesting because of her background in casting. And now that she's reaching deeper into the community with training students and bringing them across that journey all the way to New York or Broadway or wherever they wind up, that reach into the regional community is going to be even deeper. We've been working with BW for many years since, you know, Vicky's been on our, our resident artistic staff for 20 years, and that has developed over time. I have to say today we have a production of Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. We have seven members of the company who are either yes. current BW yes. students or graduates of the program. That relationship couldn't be stronger and couldn't be more important for us as producers and for Cleveland and Northeast Ohio, for all of the theaters. That training program makes a huge difference. You're lovely, absolutely lovely. Believe the loveliness of you. She's just made it one of the best small schools for musical theater in the country. In fact, one of the best schools at all for musical theater in the country. I wrote a story about it, and I think I said, uh, you know, at Little Baldwin Wallace in Little Berea, there's big time show business happening, and it's because of Vicky. I really believe that I have to train them in a way that I'd be willing to hire them. That if I'm not willing to hire them, what's the, you know, something's wrong there. So I try to make sure that they're trained in a way that I will hire them and everyone I know will hire them. Those made by humans turn to dust. While those seven wonders deteriorate. Our new discovery is right up to date. This is a wonder you can't duplicate. Clean the slate. Here's a great number.